I'd like to welcome everyone this evening to our sixth grade band concert. To start us off a couple minutes early is Dr. Phil Ostrander. He's going to play a piece of literature that you should be hearing on a daily basis. It's entitled Sawmill Creek. And he's also going to give you a demonstration on uh, just a, one of our beginning trombones and actually on a professional level trombone so you can hear the difference of the two. So Dr. Phil, start with just the student model, first year trombone, a little bit of Sawmill Creek. the beginning level one. Here's on a professional level and he'll play it all the way through.
This is um, Erica Savano talking to the band, a quick little video that she shared with them, and then some of your students' ideas. Erica Svano and I am your commission composer for this year. Um, I'm really excited to work with you and to work on your piece. Um, I think I'm going to send you uh, maybe a worksheet or ask for some ideas from you about um, what the piece should be about and it's definitely going to be sort of a choose your own adventure so that's sort of the, the basics of it. Um, so I'm really excited to work on your piece, to meet you, and I will see you soon. Hello, my name is Nat, and I play the bass clarinet, and my idea for the Choose Your Own Adventure story is basically a day in the life of a middle school kid. Um, my name is Jackson Conley, I play the clarinet, and my idea for the Choose Your Own Adventure story is, well, my theme is space. My plot is that some mean aliens stole some jewels from Venus. Um, and they're from the planet Saturn, and we have to go hide. They're hiding out on Saturn, and we have to go get them back. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tegan Davis. I play the clarinet, and my idea is a dystopian quest. There is this 12-year-old boy named Finn, and he has to go on a quest to kind of return color, music, art to his um, world. You know. So. Hi, my name is Ashton Edwards, and I play the French horn. And my idea for the Choose Your Own Adventure story is that it's five years in the future and there's like a machine that these magician, musicians slash like inventors have to create to suck carbon dioxide and pollution out of like our air and like our earth to kind of beautify our earth with music. Um. 1944, World War II, Britain. So my idea is that you're at your grandparents' house and you find a time machine. And my story idea is in a dark forest. It's so a spy thriller that describes a spy, spy that stole secret documents that is going around the world trying to hide plans from other good spy agents. It's a world dreamed up by a boy where he's stuck in his own dreams and he has to get out fantasy story where the main character is Fiona Delaquina, the kindest lady in the whole village of Apollo. Which is um, a, a character Rowan goes out the safe walls of Theringsburg and has to deliver a message to the barracks that Theringsburg is getting attacked. My story is a fairy tale and it's about a prince trying to find a princess. You are walking through a mystical setting looking for a way out. You approach a path and there are four different ways to go. Yeah. Somewhat of a maze. Our character is trapped inside of a deadly maze with monsters on each path. My project is about Mount Vesuvius that erupted in 17 AD. That was a really long time ago. The Earth is basically dying and we need like two more elements which are stuck in different like afterlife beliefs. It's basically a story about a guy who is like walking to his house after work and then an another guy came up and just grabbed a suitcase and ran away and took an airplane to somewhere in the world. And you must choose a place to follow him and to capture him and get your stuff back. Hello, my name is Sam. I'm Atticus. I play the tuba. And I play the trombone. And our idea is traveling through multiple dimensions. Our first dimension is we go back to the time of the Founding Fathers and then our machine malfunctions and then we end up on an alien planet. Um, we escape, luckily, and then travel back to the time of the dinosaurs and almost get eaten. And then we go to a Minecraft server where we meet some villagers that tell us about where the key went. And then after that we travel to the future and see our future selves with the key and then there's a big battle, we win, and everything goes back to normal. We think this is a great idea because because it handles a lot of interesting topics and that is great for musical ideas.